Hi and welcome to the Wash Warrior on the road. Now today I'm in North London again, just on the end of this horrible cold we're getting in London at the moment. I'm going to be all over London today and hopefully the sun's going to remain out. As you see we've got some a blue sky, some nice weather and hopefully, hopefully the wind doesn't keep punishing us today because it is incredibly cold. Now I have a Kia Sportage today very dirty, looks like it's been stood for a while. We're gonna get this looking incredibly shiny, incredibly nice. I hope the customer's gonna be happy. Check ya. Wow, there we go. So I finished this Kia. My goodness, this is cold. The uh, water was actually freezing to the car as I was cleaning it. So I had to pretty much finish it off with a detailing spray. So now I'm done with this customer, I'm heading down to South London. I'm going to grab a cup of tea on the way and see where the next car is. Great, so I've arrived here down in South London, very far down in Lewisham on a very cold day. Now I get to clean this lovely Mini Cooper, the John Works edition. I love these cars, they're so sporty, so powerful. And I'm gonna restore this, well restore it, I mean give it a good clean. Give it some love, special treatment, and I'm gonna apply, really um, I'm gonna apply a wax, a built amber wax to it afterwards to make it really nice. Lucky enough I'm sheltered behind this lovely building here because it is cold and the wind's just uh, the wind's just turned up a notch so when it's cold and you've got a biting wind you've got to stay dry. So let's see with this car how we get on.
Right, so I've just now finished washing this mini. Uh, it looks so much better now I've got some of that dirt off. We can actually see what the panels look like. Um, now this customer wants a wax with this car. So I'm gonna, now going to wax the car using a built Hambro paste wax. This should provide decent protection through the winter um, and also protects the paint. I mean, this is such a nice paint. It's kind of a pearlesy, grey, pearl, cream kind of colour. Even with a bit of green, I can't, don't even know what that colour is, but it looks really good. So I'm going to touch it up, put some wax on it. I'm going to put some trim restorer on those um, on the arches here and also tidy up those wheels so let's see how we get on right so on the top of here i've just uh, applied a wax a paste wax to the car as you can see it's uh, applied in multiple directions so it's uh, the swirling method seems to be the best way of doing that what you're doing is when you're applying wax is you're trying to fill up the tiny little holes and scars on the lacquer with the wax so if you just go one way like from left to right you're never gonna get the lines which go you know in the opposite direction so you want to fill in as much of the uh, lacquer scarring as you can with the wax and it'll sit in there uh, and then when you when you wipe off the dry stuff once it's uh, finished setting it'll apply a layer over the top of those scars scarring to make it look like if it's not there at all so from your angle from your eyes you can see a nice smooth surface so as you can see on here this car it's all got wax on it. It's just I'm waiting for it to dry off a little bit. And now when I, while I wait for it to dry off, I'm going to do the trim, the black trim going around the outside of the arches or on the arches. So there's some parts I won't do. I won't do that front bumper there because that's already shiny. So we're just going to do these arches around here and the wheels. So next time you see next bit of video will be the arches, wheels done, and the wax buffed up. Right, so there we go. So we've applied a wax and restored some of the trim on the car, and it looks a lot better. It looks amazing. How good is that? Almost looks like a totally different car. With tire, uh, with trim protector, trim restorer, uh, and then you shine the paintwork. There's a really nice contrasting difference between that the matte, sometimes matte, or sometimes shine to the actual bodywork. It always, as the car should be, you can see the difference between the panels, you can see all the grooves on the paintwork. So now we've finished that part, I'm going to carry on with the interior. And let's see how we get right, on. So we've sketch. finished with this mini now. I'm going to quickly show you the inside to show you. Uh, just if you didn't know what the inside of a Mini looked like. There you go, a lot nice and clean in there. Now, now to head back up to central London and find our next customer, wherever they may be. See you later. BMW that's been left under a tree for quite a while. This 318D has not only moss, we've got stains, we've got blood, blood splatter. We're looking down there, some nasties hiding down there. Probably a family of voles. And then around here, we've got all sorts of bits on here. We've got some bits from the tree that's fallen down. And we're going to get this looking brand new. So stay with me. 